Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a WordPress website in just a few minutes using BeeTheme. Now, BeeTheme reached out and asked to sponsor a video, and they wanted me to check out their new Muffin Live Builder. We've all heard of drag and drop page builders for WordPress, and Muffin Live Builder is a custom page builder designed specifically for BeeTheme, which has over 600 pre built websites. BeeTheme is available on ThemeForest, which is the marketplace where I personally go to buy WordPress themes for my projects, so I'm super excited to take a look and show you exactly how to build a WordPress website in just a couple minutes. Let's get started. So I'm in the WordPress dashboard and I've already installed BeeTheme. Once you've done this, you're just going to go over to Pre-built Websites, and I'm going to look through these templates and find something that matches the project that I'm working on. I'm building a landscaping site for a client, so I'm just gonna see if anything sticks out to me. Obviously, there is a lot to look through, and this caught my attention. Garden 3, I think, is really cool. Looks pretty clean. So I'm just gonna click Install. And I've already installed the required plugins. You can see Revolution Slider and Contact Form 7 both say Active. Yours may say install, make sure you install those plugins before continuing, but since I've already installed them, I'm just going to click next. And I am just going to click reset now and clear everything out of WordPress so we can get a clean start. Reset now. I'm going to leave everything default. I don't need to change anything here. I'm going to click install. And now BeeTheme is installing our pre-built website. Once this is done, we can actually start to customize the site and make it our own. Look at that, BeeTheme has successfully imported our pre-built website. I'm gonna go over to home up here and say visit site. And wow, this looks amazing. I'm really excited to customize this and make it a fit for the client. But right off the bat, this is a very clean looking website. So I'm going to jump in and start with changing the logo. To do this, I'm going to go over to the WordPress dashboard and go to B theme and theme options. Under global, I'm going to click logo and I'll just say browse and I'm going to upload my client's logo. All right, I found the logo. I'm going to click open and I'm going to click select. Now I'm going to put this in the retina section as well. Same exact logo. I'll click browse, select the logo from the media library and say select and save changes. Let's go take a look. I'm going to go to the website here and wow, look at that. We've got the logo in place. It's already looking great. Next, we want to address the favicon, which is this icon right here. Currently, it's BeeThemes logo, but I'd like to make it this little lawnmower icon to match our brand. So once again, I'm going to go over to Dashboard, go to BeeTheme, Theme Options. I'll go to Global and General and scroll down. And right here, we have a place to upload a favicon. So I'll browse, go and upload, find my icon that I've created. Save changes. Let's go take a look at the website. And just like that, we have our lawnmower icon. That looks incredible. Now it's time to start customizing the page. And the first thing we're gonna do is edit this slider up here. So this whole top hero section is created with a plugin called Slider Revolution. And we're not gonna go in depth on how to use that today, but to access it, you will go to the WordPress dashboard Scroll down until you see Slider Revolution. Just click it, scroll down, and click the pencil icon on your slider. Once again, I'm not really going to talk about editing this today. I'm going to make some changes to it, and then we're going to get into editing the page with Muffin Live Builder. I've customized the slider to my liking. I've got a new hero image and some text. Now it's time to start customizing our home page, and we're going to do this using Muffin Live Builder. To get to Muffin Live Builder, I'm going to go to the admin bar and click Edit with Muffin Live Builder. Once you're here, you can pick some elements and start editing your page. I'm going to scroll down and this element right here looks good. So I'll click this pencil icon 
and I want to change my text. Now it's really easy to do this. In fact, if I click the pencil icon for this section, we see we can just edit our text here. This is some text. And then when I click outside of the box here, the text updates. Now on this section up here, I want to modify this text, but because the text is white and this box is white, this is a quirk of WordPress. It's actually nothing to do with B-Theme or Muffin Live Builder. You face this in almost any WordPress editor. I actually have to highlight the text to be able to see it because it's white text on a white background. But don't worry, if you run into this, just go ahead and highlight your text. Then you can say, this is some text. And when you click outside of that box, you will see it update here. So I'm gonna put in the text that I want in these two text boxes. I think I like that, that text looks nice. The next thing we're gonna do is change out this image. I've got an image that I'd like to use, so I'm gonna click here and click browse on this sidebar. Go to the image uploader, you know the drill, select your file, insert it. That looks pretty good. Let's scroll down and address the next section. I'm gonna do a little section about the client because this is Morgan's quality lawn care, so how about we get a picture of Morgan? I think that'd be kind of fun. Lucky for me, I happen to have a picture of Morgan right here in my files. So let's just put that in. Let's see, what should we say here? Let's go with who we are. Just click outside of here and we can see the updates. One cool thing we can do is change this counter element right here. I think it'd be pretty neat to have a counter of how many clients the company has. So let's make it happen. We can just click the pencil icon and right here, I'm gonna put 87 because Morgan told me, hey, I've got a growing client base. It's up to 87. I really want to brag about that number, get some more clients, you know, show some clout. So I said, Morgan, we can make that happen. No problem. Look at that. 87 clients. All right, now that we've got this section done, let's go ahead and move on. And this next section is an overview of the services that the company offers. So let's go ahead and spice this up with services that Morgan offers. Let's get that potential client interested in making the call and hiring Morgan. I'm gonna roll over this heading here, just click it. And I wanna change this services heading. So remember with white text, we're just gonna highlight it. I'll just say what we do, click outside of our box, boom, heading is complete. Now let's start changing these items. Once again, I'll just click our pencil icon. I've got an image for this section that I've already got figured out, so I'll upload that. And I'm gonna change the text here, maybe something like quality mowing. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go through each of these sections, get it all changed out, and then our services section and what we do will be good to go. Sweet, that what we do section is looking fantastic. Next, I'm gonna scroll down and I actually don't want this section right here. I think we already have enough about Morgan and his company on the homepage. So no problem, if you ever don't want a section, just hover over this trash can icon and click delete, and click delete again, and the section is gone. Now that we have that section out of the way, I want to add a call to action section to the bottom of the website. You know, I wanna drive interested clients to Morgan, give him some business, that's what he hired us to do. So in order to do this, I'm just gonna go over to pre-built sections right here, and up here, I'll select call to action. And I'll just look for one that stands out. I actually like headings with buttons. I'll click insert. Then it adds the section to the bottom of our website. I'm gonna change out this background image. I'll just click browse, go to upload files. This one looks good. I'll just click open and select. Nice, it's really starting to take shape. Our background image is looking great. I'd like to edit this text and I wanna make the text white so it stands out against the background. 
To do this, you just highlight your block of text and I've got the text color option right here. I'll select white, click outside the box, and boom, our text is white. And remember to edit white text, we just highlight it and type what we're gonna say. Great, that looks awesome. Let's work on this button. Uh, before that, I'm just gonna clear out this text up here. It's hiding up in those trees, but we don't need that. I'll keep it to we want to hear from you. I'll click the button, and whenever you have a button in B theme like this, it's really easy to edit. You can just click here where it says button and say edit, and that gives you all the options so you don't have to go in the code and try and mess with stuff. Right, let's do contact us. This would be linked to your contact page, so I'll just put that URL. And let's change out this icon. Let's see, what would be, do we have like email? Yeah, that's great. Click update and look at that. Contact us, we got the little email icon. So the homepage is all customized, it's looking awesome. Let's actually open a new tab and take a look. Wow, this looks incredible. Our website is almost finished. You can edit these other pages in your own time, but I'd like to show you how to edit the contact page because this is a different page. It has a live functioning contact form on it. And I'd like to change this image to something more landscapey and not a guy with the construction hat. So let's jump in. We're gonna click edit with Muffin Live Builder. And let's get started right away with changing this image. I'm gonna go to browse, upload files, and put my image file up. Boom, now we just go and change this text right here. I've got the text changed out. This contact form is looking awesome. We're almost ready to go, but there is one thing on this contact page that you need to know, and that's how to send email to your email address, because this is using a plugin called Contact Form 7, and if someone fills this out right now and clicks send message, it's basically going to nowhere. So let's go hook that up, I'm just gonna click update on my page, make sure I've saved all my changes. I'm gonna go back to WordPress, and up here I'll just go over to the dashboard, and let's go to contact and contact forms. I'll say edit under the contact form here, and I'll click mail right here. Now what we need to do is put an email address in the to field. So for us, that's gonna be hello at morganslawn.care. We do need a from email address and that's just gonna be no reply at yourdomain.com. So for us, that's morganslawn.care. Now for subject, I'm just gonna put morganslawncare bracket your dash subject. So what I just did here was insert the subject variable in our subject line. If I go over to form here, you can see that how this is designed is we have these variables, your subject, your name, your email, your message, you get the idea. Using a setup like this ensures that anytime someone fills out our contact form and clicks send message, we're gonna get an email exactly like this. It'll just have the variables filled in. So all we really need to do is scroll up, click save, and our contact form is good to go. I'm gonna go back to the website here. Man, it just looks so good. There's only one more thing to do, and that's to edit this footer. To do that, it's very simple. We go, you guessed it, back to the WordPress dashboard, and we're gonna do this under appearance and widgets. Once you click widgets, we can just dismiss this. Now the footer's got four sections. We see footer one, footer two, footer three, footer four, and that corresponds with these four sections we see down here. I'm not gonna edit everything today, but I will edit footer number four and put in the contact information. So I'll put in our phone number, and I'm just gonna go ahead and update this with all the relevant info. Fantastic, everything is switched out here. I'll click update. We'll go refresh the page. 
And just like that, our footer's changed out, our homepage is done, our contact page is functioning, sending emails to Morgan when a client is interested in getting service. This really looks incredible. That's how you build a WordPress website in just a few minutes using Btheme and Muffin Live Builder. Now, I think Btheme is a great fit for beginners who aren't sure how to approach their website design-wise, and that's thanks to the over 600 pre-built websites to choose from. There's a lot of options. You can just scroll through, find something that stands out to you, and customize it with your colors and logo and go from there. Overall, I really enjoyed my experience with Btheme, and you can get Btheme, which includes Muffin Live Builder, at the link in the description below. The next steps after you build out your pages and headers and customize the site to your liking would include installing a security plugin, getting a plugin to help WordPress send mail, and getting a caching plugin. Now I won't be covering that in this video, but if that's a video you'd like to see, definitely leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.